Good day everybody, uh, today's video is for like first time campers and uh, talking about equipment and maybe just a little bit of a rant. So what I want to talk to you about today and this subject always comes up no matter where you look on the internet about uh, going camping and that is uh, knives. And the why I'm bringing this up is, um, you know, there are so many videos on YouTube where, you know, they are telling you, uh, get this knife, get that knife, uh, this knife is the best, this knife is a load of crap, uh, so on and so on and so on. And, you know, and then, uh, you know, for first time camper, you probably get wide eyed and, and everything else. Let me just uh, explain to you a couple of things. Uh, do you really need a uh, $150 knife to go camping for two days? Absolutely not. No, you bloody don't. And uh, I'm going to crack into it now. This video is very hard for me to make because uh, I, I, I live out here. This is my life. And uh, so I'm, camp I'm camping 24-7, 365 days and uh but that is my life is it your life probably not um let's let's just get into the equipment because i could just waffle on and on okay so um uh, try and keep the shadows out of the uh frame okay so let's just pretend uh this pile of rocks is a is is where you're going to be having your fire and uh, you've got a big fire here right and um and you you got your grill there's there's your grill and uh by the way this is my knife uh i use this knife um or a knife like this every single day and um and so all you need is something like this when i mean something like this something which is going to be strong enough to um lift up the uh grill or whatever and put it on the fire that's it the rest of the stuff you probably got in your kitchen cabinets if you got uh, something which can um, chop up wood or uh, you know chop up vegetables chop up meat put it on the fire that will suffice. The other thing is, and my battery is running out, unfortunately. Um, so I've got to hurry up. Um, let's talk about handles of knives. And this is a huge, big thing. Okay, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos. Buy this, buy, buy this knife, buy that knife, blah, 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 right? On and on and on and on. They just, they, they never stop. These videos never stop. What they don't talk about is the handles. And what you want is a handle which is going to be comfortable, obviously, you know, but more importantly, something which uh, your hand can lock up on, which is going to, you know, we. Uh, so, so if you've got a big hand, you don't want a tiny little handle. If you've got small hands, you don't want a great big handle like this. And it's kind of like common sense. But honestly, um, you, no, nobody ever, ever talks about handles on knives. And uh, for someone who's missing uh, fingers on both hands, uh, this is a big thing because uh, honestly, um, it really hurts when you cut yourself. So that's my thing. Um, if I was to buy a knife over the internet without actually touching it, I would probably, and I'm, this is open to, to everybody and I would recommend anybody does their research, but if I was going to buy a knife uh, without seeing it, without touching it, without handling it, you know, making sure it does fit in my hand, making sure that it is comfortable, um, it would probably be a Gerber strong arm, but that's me. And a Gerber strong arm for a couple of days is just ridiculous, if you ask me. But 
there are some knives at Walmart which you can buy and you know you can look at them touch them feel see if they're strong enough you know before you buy them that's all you need for a couple of days are you kidding me you don't even need to buy anything what you've got in your kitchen drawer is probably good enough more than good enough you know let's face it you're going to be cutting up vegetables and meat what do you do at home cut up ve vegetables and meat all you need to think about is you just need something strong strong enough to lift something hang on let me get over here because it's kind of important so something strong enough to lift up and move it off the grill You know, you, the, the chances are you're not going to be chopping up wood. You're not going to be chopping up. You're not going to be. You're going to see people putting their knives through stupid stuff like battening. Okay, well, uh, being able to batten a piece of wood is great, isn't it? But do you really need it? No, probably not. Probably you're going to have a gas stove, one of those portable gas stoves. Or if you haven't, then you're probably going to be snapping wood with your, with your legs and with your feet, with your hands or have, have a, another knife at home which can do the job or have another piece of equipment like a crowbar or, or anything which can just pick up something like this and put it on the fire. Honestly, you don't need a $2,000 tent. You don't need the latest tent pegs. And you, you, you know, just use a little bit of common sense before you go camping for the first time. If I was you, if you are going camping for the first time, buy, buy, buy a tent. That is your most, that's the most important thing. Honestly, it really is. The rest of the stuff you got at home. Anyway, bye. I hope this video helps. Don't forget to uh, thumb up, subscribe, comment, hit that bell and uh, bye.